This is Robert Taylor of Taylor Pump Well, and these are the parts of a normal well system. This here is the control box. It makes the, the pump start and run. The water comes up, goes through a check valve at the bottom of the, right here. This is a pressure switch, and then the water comes into the tank. The, the tank here has air on the top to create pressure, and then it has the water at the bottom. As it pumps up, it builds up pressure. When it gets to 60 pounds, the switch uh, is satisfied and it, turns it, and it turns off the pump. Then when it gets down to 40, the switch starts it again and continues to pump until the tank is pressurized again. Inside the pressure switch is a bunch of wires and it's 230 volts. So unless you really know what you're doing, don't open it. <laughs> Alright, and, and like I said, that's what gives it the power. After it says to get the power, it sends it to the control box. And then, oh, this one's dirty. we got to clean this. And then this one, the, the wires hook to it, and then the wires go down into the well through that pipe right there. I'll leave that off because we got to clean that. Like I said, this is your pressure tank and everything. It's got a place on the top to fill it with air. Just because it's got it doesn't mean to put a lot of air in it or take air out. It's got to be, it's got to be 35 pounds when there's no water in it at all. All right. Let me move around here. This is the well seal. This it, this pipe here goes straight down, and there's multiple pieces of it. And at the bottom of it is the pump. This is your average submersible pump. Up top is a bunch of little impellers, like a propeller but inside, and they're stacked on top of each other. In the middle of it is a screen, that's where the water goes in to go up through the impellers. Then down at the bottom is the electric motor. The electric motor is supplied power by wires that we use uh, water to, uh, waterproof connections and then we run the wire all the way up the pipe to the next joint and the next and the next. This particular well is 300 feet deep. So that means that there's 15 20 foot sections of pipe. And each one of those has to be pulled out like this one is, unscrewed and laid to the side and then again and again until you can get to where the pump is. That's my son and that's one of my trucks right there. So that's what's in your well. If you have any questions, give us a call. This is Taylor Pimple Well and, and we appreciate your business.